Long ago inside a forest, not far from the city, was a huge mansion. In that mansion lived a small family of four. A father, a mother, an older sister, and a younger brother. They were a happy family that had lived in the city before moving into the mansion in the forest. The mother really loved nature, and the father was a builder, so he decided he would build a beautiful mansion in the forest for his wife's birthday. On the wife's birthday, the father surprised his wife, who had tears of joy rolling down her rosy pink cheeks. They decided to move in as soon as they could, as the wife could not hold back her excitement for moving into the beautiful mansion that was made for her. After moving into the house, the wife found a job at a cafe in the city and started working there after a few weeks. She was outstanding in the cafe. Everyone loved her. The employees, the customers, and Roselle, the manager, most of all. But after working there for a few weeks, she stopped going. Everyone thought that she was sick, so they waited for her to return. After a week, Roselle got worried and decided to call her. But she didn't answer, so she tried calling her again later, and after many attempts of trying to reach her, Roselle decided to wait a little longer, thinking she was occupied. A month passed, and people started to forget her. Roselle had enough of waiting, and decided to go to their house and find the wife. Didn't she say she had two kids? It seems awfully too quiet for a house with two kids. That too, one being a little boy. Something doesn't feel right. Hmm, is anyone home? Still not answer. Maybe they aren't home. Or they moved out? No, she would have at least said something. Right? door was unlocked. Alright, something's definitely wrong here. Looks like someone just cleaned the house. I don't think there was a break-in. Unless the thief wanted to clean the house before they left. No, Roselle. That's just dumb. Maybe they went out and forgot to close the door? Oh, since there isn't anything, I guess I'll come back tomorrow and check. Huh? What was that? It sounded like it came from the kitchen? Hello? Is anyone here? Oh my, what's that putrid smell? Looks like this is where this mouse coming. The smell is so strong, and it smells so disgusting. Where's the light switch? Ah, here it is. Oh my god. Hello? Uh, yes, hello. I found a family dead in the house. Ma'am, I'm going to need you to calm down and tell me your location. Ah, detective. We've been waiting for you. I can tell. Now, where is this person who reported? She's over there, ma'am. Hmm. I'll go talk to her. Okay, ma'am. Hello. You must be Roselle. Um, yes. That's me. Did you know this family? The mother was one of my best employees, and 
a close friend. Oh, I see. It must be hard losing a close friend. Was she acting weird in any way the last time you saw her? The last time I saw her was three months ago. She stopped coming to work all of a sudden. Everyone assumed she was sick, but weeks passed and she never came. I tried contacting her, but nothing ever worked, so I decided to come here and, well, you can see how that turned out. I see. Are you okay with showing me where they are? <sighs> I guess. I... What? This is where I saw them! Hey. Hey! Calm down. Maybe you saw them somewhere else and you thought that was this room. No. This is where they were. I even saw the officers come down here! Is there something you need, officer? What in the world? Is there something wrong? Where are the bodies? And the rest of the officers. What? One of the officers called and the only thing she said was to get out before it's too late. So I decided to come check out what she meant and what had happened. So this is where the bodies were? Yes, ma'am. Did she say anything else? No, ma'am. I think we should listen and leave before, well, something happens to us. All right, then. Well, whatever will we do now, then? This is suspicious, Officer Keith. Yes, ma'am? When was the last time you saw the rest of the officers? A few minutes before you came, ma'am. About 10 to 15 minutes, I think. How can dead bodies and so many officers go missing in such small amount of time? doesn't make sense. All right, so what are we supposed to do? Nothing. What? Well, without any evidence or lead on the family, we can't do anything. I'm sorry. I suppose you're right. Keith? Yes, ma'am. Tell everyone that this part of the forest is closed off. Yes, ma'am. Right away. Months passed and the mansion was still up, without a single scratch. By this time, a rumor had spread across the whole city. The mansion was said to be haunted because of what happened to the family that first lived there. There were many people who were curious of the situation and story behind the house, but there was particularly one boy that really wanted to solve this mystery. This is boring. There's nothing here. Huh? What's this? An old article about... Several people went missing in one month? Now this is interesting. So, there's a mansion in the forbidden part of the woods. There isn't an exact location, but I'm sure it won't be hard to find. But Mom and Dad won't let me. They'd yell at me if they found out I even planned to do this. Or they don't have to know. I'll just wait for them to leave for their anniversary dinner tonight. Are you sure you'll be all right alone? Yes, Mom, I'm sure. You know, we could always call your older cousin who's a few blocks away. Dad. Right, it's just you've grown up so fast. Yeah, it just feels like yesterday you were a little toddler running around after your bath making your father chase you around the house to put on your clothes. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> he was such a little troublemaker. And I still am. Oh, really? Yeah. Last I recall, troublemakers are messy and constantly causing trouble. Most of them don't even study and fail their exams. But darling, doesn't James hate being messy? And isn't he very keen on studying so he can become a big detective solving all sorts of mysteries? Okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> well, we'll be going then. If something happens, then call us. And remember, no people are allowed over. 
And if you do want to invite someone over... Call you and ask permission first, I know, Dad. All right, then. We'll be off now. We'll be home in a few hours. Take care, sweetie. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Now, where would that mansion be? Oh, there it is. Time to go in, then. What in the world? How does it look so clean after months of being abandoned? Not even a single cobweb. Does somebody live here now? Hello? Is anyone home? I guess not. This must be the sister's room. It looks like they packed everything and left. Huh? What's this? A phone? She must have forgotten it. Get out! They know you're here! They won't stop messing with you until you're dead! Get out now! They're coming! If they catch you, you'll die! Go missing or go insane! Leave now! Where were you? Do you know how worried we were? You've been gone for a week. I haven't even been gone for an hour. What are you talking about? This is not something to joke about, James. Do you know how worried me and your mother were? Where did you even disappear off to? Well... I saw an article about several people going missing in one month. They were all connected to this mansion in the forbidden part of the forest. The what? Do not tell me you went to the forbidden forest to search for this house. I'm sorry, okay? I just wanted to prove to you that I could take care of myself outside. And I thought if I solved this mystery, then you'd let me solve other mysteries. Oh, James. We have nothing against you going out alone. We were just worried something bad might have happened to you. Your father is right, dear. The world outside is dangerous. People are the kindest. We thought you were kidnapped when we came home and you weren't here. Speaking of that, the forest is a lot of dangerous animals. How did you manage to survive? I haven't been gone for a week. I left less than an hour ago. Maybe you just lost track of time, and though it was less than an hour. Oh, you must be starving. I'll go make you something to eat. Hey. What's in your hand? Oh, just my phone. Okay. Well, I'm going to my room now. Call me when Mama finishes making dinner. Let's see if this works. It still works? The battery is dead. Well, it looks like the same model as my phone. Maybe my phone's charger will work for it. Yes, it works. James, dinner time. Coming, Mom. Huh? Where am I? Um, hello? Wait a minute. You're one of the missing people. You were too late. What? Late? One of them touched you. What do you mean? Who touched me? I do not know who or what they are. All I know is that they are connected to you and they want you dead. Connected to me? I don't understand. How are you talking to me? Where are you and your family? Me and my family are no more and I touched you. That's how I can talk to you. Once you're dead, you'll become like me, a wandering soul trying to find a peace. But now that one of them touched you, once you'll die, I'll be set free and you'll be in my place. What? There has to be a way to avoid this, right? I have an idea, but I don't know if it'll work.
take this. Look through my phone and you might find out. Wait! I still have more questions! Wh why can't I move? What was that? Did someone send a message? 3 a.m.? Who would send a message to the phone of a dead girl at 3 a.m.? Ugh, I can't sleep. Ugh, I guess I can look at the phone now. The message is still there? Oh well. Great, there's a password. What do I do now? Wait, the message. Maybe that's the password. Yes! Okay, now let's see what you have. Where are all the apps? There's only a gallery. Huh? Video. What does that mean? Do I have to look for a video in the gallery? Of course. There's only three pictures and one video. Connor, wait up! You're going too fast! It's not my fault you're so slow, Ava. Look, this is what I was talking about. Whoa, they look like yin-yang. What's that? I'm not so sure. It's something Chinese related and I think they're supposed to represent opposites. Sounds boring. <laughs> Almost everything sounds boring to you. That's one of the necklaces the girl gave me. But what's so special about these necklaces? What is that? It looks like some shadow. Was someone else there? Who are you two? Yin Yang. Were the names of those girls Yin and Yang? Maybe if I search up people with that name, something will come up. I mean, I don't think many people would be named Yin or Yang. This must be fake. Yeah. It's all fake. After that, every day he would be worried and jump at the slightest things. Seconds turned to hours. Hours turned to days. Days to months. Months to years. And yet nothing happened. James started to think that everything that happened wasn't real. And it was just all in his imagination. Soon, he got married to a lovely woman called Jenny and had twins, Taylor and Tyler. When the twins were five years old, their mother had mysteriously gone missing. The day their mother went missing, James had a dream. Hello, James. Oh, God, you scared me. He's not dead yet. Who? Connor. Your brother? He's trapped. Then now go get him out. No! I'm sorry? As much as I want Connor to make it out, I cannot let you go back. Your brother is stuck in a house with two killing spirits, and you want me not to save him? If you go, both of you will die. He's a smart boy. I believe he'll make it out. Hopefully. <sighs> okay then. What do I do now? You must destroy the necklace. It will kill one of them, but it will also kill you since over the past years she has attached herself to you. What? I can do that. I have kids. What will happen to them? Ava! What? No, I can leave now. But what happened to my babies? Who's gonna take care of them? D they're just five, and they just lost their mother. 
What if I train to the fight? Even after I die, they'll be able to fight. And I can ask somebody to take care of them. Yeah, that may work. I don't have any other option. Like he thought, James began to train himself and his kids in various fighting techniques. Years passed and James's family had become very wealthy and well known for their fighting skills. James Ice, being a wealthy man, met other wealthy people as well for business. There were three other families that had kids that were almost the same age as Taylor and Tyler. The kids' names were Melody Bravo, Evan Enrold, and Dennis Silver. The Bravo family, from Los Angeles, was famous for their music. The Emerald family, from Greece, was popular for their strength and athletics. The Silver family, from China, was popular for their knowledge and technology. Evan and Melody were one year older than the other three. Taylor, Tyler, Melody, Evan, and Dennis met when they were eight and nine years old and became very close friends. After two years, they had to go back to their own homes, but they still kept in touch through their devices. After what felt like a decade, they were finally able to meet up again when the twins and Dennis were 18 and Evan and Melody were 19. They all went back to Japan, the place where the Ice family lived. They all met up with the twins and went to their place. When they arrived, they expected to be greeted by the twins' father, James Ice, but he was nowhere to be seen. So, where is your father? He passed away in his sleep a few months ago. Uh oh, I'm I'm so sorry for asking and I'm so sorry that happened. It's okay, you didn't know. Since it's too late to go anywhere right now, let's plan what we'll be doing tomorrow before we go to sleep. That's a good idea. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to my room. Wow, your room looks amazing, Tay. Thanks, Mel. Okay, let's write down what we'll do tomorrow. Well, that took a lot longer than expected to finish. Yeah, it's already 9 p.m. Wait, before we go, Evan, how come you haven't said a word since we got here? She has a point. You haven't even opened your mouth since you've got here. Evan, you're not mute. We all know you can talk. Are you not speaking because when you were younger you sounded like a seven-year-old? Come on, Evan. Just at least say hi. Hi. Well, puberty hit someone good. How does the boy, who sounded like a seven-year-old, now sound like God not only gave him a handsome face, but also gave him a real deep and handsome voice? Oh, I see it now. See what? The millions of fangirls and fanboys chasing after you. Ugh, don't remind me. My brain is trying to process what's happening. Simp. I'm not a simp. Yeah, sure. It's not like half of your gallery is filled with photos of- Okay, time for dinner. It's getting late. Yeah, we should head home now. We're lost, aren't we? What? No, the house is this way. No, we passed the house ten minutes ago. And you didn't even think to say anything? I tried to tell you. But you acted like you knew where we were going, so I just let you lead. Really, Tyler? Okay, let's not start a fight right now. It's really late, so let's find a cave or something to take shelter in for tonight. I remember seeing a cave while we were walking. Then let's go. It's 
sleeping in a cave is really uncomfortable. Someone is missing. Tyler. Hey. Oh, hey Evan. What are you doing out here alone? I couldn't sleep. What are you doing awake? Well, for one, I'm not used to sleeping in a cave. <laughs> I still remember the time my whole family had to sleep outside because my dad lost the house keys. Didn't take Mr. Ice for the forgetful type. Yeah, he kept forgetting a lot of things. Luckily, Mom was always there to remind him. But ever since Mom left, Dad never let me or Taylor out of his sight. Was that before or after you became wealthy? Both, I guess? He would still be really protective of me and Tay if he was here. I see. So how did you find the keys to your house that day? When we woke up, Mom saw something in Dad's back pocket. And that's where the keys were? Yep. Sounds like your whole family was really close. Yeah, we were. Even after Dad became rich with his new job, he always found time for me and Tay. That sounded lovely. I wish my family was like that. What do you mean? <sighs> well, Mother barely is ever home, and I doubt Father even knows I exist anymore. Well, then that's their loss. They can't see how much of an amazing son they have. Thanks, Tyler. You know, me, Taylor, and Dad would go stargazing once a week. Oh, really? Yeah. It was a memory of Mother. She loved the stars. I can see why she loved them. Tyler? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry? What for? For crying. Boys shouldn't cry. Which idiot told you that? The person that trained me, Dad, and Tay in fighting. So an old person that doesn't know it's the future? Evan, don't say that. Okay, but am I wrong about the old person part? He wasn't old. Is he even alive anymore? Evan. Just answer the question. No. Ha! I knew it. <laughs> You're an idiot. Can't say I'm not. Now come on, let's go sleep. All right. Okay, now that we're all awake, well, looks like someone didn't get enough sleep. Shut up, Denise. Okay, Evan is in charge of dealing with Mr. Grumpy. Why me? One, Taylor hasn't eaten since yesterday and is now being dramatic about it. My time has come. Goodbye, brother. Don't worry, I'll tell mom and dad you said hi. For the last time, Tay, you are not going to die. Let me rest in peace. Yeah. And two, he's clinging on to you. Fine. Let's start searching for food or some kind of house. Taylor, if you don't get up, we're feeding your dead body to the animals. I'm up! Now let's start walking before Tyler falls asleep. You have got to be kidding me. We can't do it anymore. Too much walking. I'm tired. You guys are really lazy if you get tired after walking for about an hour. Easy for you to say, Mr. Athlete. <sighs> Fine. You all stay here. I'll see if I can find something nearby. Don't die. Haha, ha, very funny. If you die, I'll jump off a cliff. Don't. What now? I don't know about you guys, but I'm so hungry I gotta eat my twin brother. Stay back, you demon. Tay, don't eat your only living family member. Who said he was my only living family member? I still have my grandma and grandpa. You don't know when you'll lose him. So spend as much time as you can before he's gone too. I do spend time with him. It's not my fault I'm hungry and he looks delicious. Okay, okay, I won't eat him. Good. Yet. Taylor! Taylor. Okay! Don't you think Evan's been gone too long? It's hardly been five minutes since he left. What if he got eaten by a wild animal? Time to go find a cliff. No, what did I tell you? Oh look, the grandpa isn't dead. You're one to talk. Nice, come back. 
You're supposed to be on my side. What kind of brother are you? I've been nothing but kind to you, and this is how you repay me? He's gonna make you eat those words. No, he isn't. You tried to eat me. It was all in the past. It was literally before Evan came back. What happened when I was gone? Kayla tried to eat Tyler. If I'm being honest, I'm not surprised. She's hardly changed. Anyways, I found a house not far from here. It doesn't look abandoned, so I think someone lives there. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go, people. Oh, wow. Okay, then just ignore me. If that's what you want. Wait, I didn't actually mean it. What are you doing in front of my mansion? We are sorry if you're bothered by us here. We were not aware this was your mansion. We've been wandering in these woods for so long. We haven't eaten anything since yesterday and we're starving. We saw this mansion, so we thought of asking some food from here. Oh, why didn't you say so? Come in. Please, take a seat. I'll get something for you to eat. I don't trust that girl. I don't either. She didn't even think twice before letting us in. For all she knows, we could be robbers. And plus, we have her outnumbered. Exactly. I feel like she might be dangerous. Or you two are just overthinking and she's just a kind, innocent girl. Don't you find this even a bit suspicious? Of course you two don't trust her. I mean, Melody's a walking entity of sass. And where do I start for Evan? Please don't. <laughs> Evan reminds me of one of those cold, sarcastic bad boys who somehow passed the exams even though they barely touched their book. Okay. And he looks really handsome but is also called a heartbreaker or a player because he rejects all the girls that confess to him since he's secretly gay. Thanks for telling my whole complicated high school life in a few sentences. You're welcome. I don't get how Tyler deals with you. Are you by any chance from China? Yes, I am. What's your name? Yin. Your name reminds me of Yin and Yang. Yeah, I had a sister named Yang, but unfortunately she died. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry I had to remind you. It's okay, you didn't know. <laughs> Tyler fell asleep. You must be real comfy if Tyler fell asleep on you. All the girls that try to cuddle me say so too, so apparently I am. You poor soul. Are you just gonna let him cuddle you, or are you gonna pick him up and carry him to a bed? I feel too lazy to move. Or you can just suck it up and admit that you like Tyler's cuddles. All of us do, but you're a hog. Shut up, Taylor. No one tells me to shut up. I'm waking up my brother. Don't you dare. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty! My ear! What was that for? Oh, I am so sorry, Evan. What for? Falling asleep on you? Why are you apologizing for falling for me? Almost everyone I come across has fallen for me. Don't flatter yourself. Also, don't ever try to flirt again. You suck at it. Ouch. Right where it hurts. How about I show you to the rooms? You guys must be tired from walking for so long, and it's getting late, so you must stay here till the morning. Thank you so much. How can we repay you? Just by staying here is enough for me. It gets quite lonely here. Thank you so much again, Miss Yin. Oh, please, and call me in. No need to add anything before it. Okay, Yin. Yin, huh? I've heard a girl with a similar name to her, but from where? And she also looks really familiar. We better get to a bedroom before Tyler falls asleep again. We all know how heavy he is, and Evan's the only one strong enough to carry him. Hey! There are a lot of room in this mansion, but only two can sleep in each room. That's fine. Evan and Tyler will share a room, and me, Taylor, and Denise will share a room. Oh, so no one's sleeping alone? The girls always stay together. It's almost impossible to separate them. They're always talking. I mean, that's what girls do, right? At least we don't dress up in fuzzy princess dresses and sing Sophia the first in front of the mirror. That was one time. Alright, let's go to the rooms now. Here we are. Choose any room you'd like. We'll take this room. Okay then, I'll let you get settled in. If you need anything, I'll be downstairs.
Ian, huh? Where, where have I heard your name before? Hardly anyone is named after Yin Yang, and you had a sister named Yang. This can't be a coincidence. Why would a beautiful girl from China come live in a forest in Japan? Wait a minute. It can't be right. Yin and Yang, the trapped spirits. Guys, get up now! We're in danger! What are you talking about, Danny? Melody and Evan were right about Yin. What are you talking about? Read this. Okay, let me see. The two sisters, Yin and Yang, were named after Yin and Yang. These two girls were not normal as they each had special abilities. Yin had the power to destroy or kill anything she wanted. She was very helpful in fighting with enemies and catching and killing the most wanted criminals or spies from the enemy. Yang, on the other hand, had the power to heal any type of illness and bring back the dead. People praised the two sisters because of their powers, but even with the amazing life they had, they were extremely greedy. They would always expect something, like money, in return from the, from the people that they had helped. If someone did not give them what they wanted, the next day they would be found dead or go missing. One day the emperor's wife became very ill, so he had no choice but to ask for the sister's help. The sisters accepted, thinking of how much they get by helping the emperor. But after healing the empress, the emperor said him allowing them to stay in this kingdom, even after they had killed innocent people, was a big enough award. This made the sisters so mad that they killed the empress in front of the emperor. The emperor then imprisoned them while he found a way to punish them. The emperor knew he could not sentence them to death as they were immortal and impossible to get rid of. So he called a sorcerer to trap the sisters forever in two necklaces that were the shape of yin and yang. The girls swore to get their revenge one day. Till this day, the necklaces were never found. Wait, I've seen those necklaces. Those are the necklaces. And wait, take a look at this. Do you see the house behind them? That looks like this mansion. This was their house. The father had built it specifically for the wife. But look, this is what the house is supposed to look like. And these mansions are the same. But how? That one looks abandoned and this doesn't. That's what I don't know, but it must have something to do with these girls. How can we be sure that Yen was the same person trapped in the necklace? This girl and Yin are the same, all right. We have to get out of here. But what about Yin? She can be anywhere. And if I'm right, Yang must be here too. Then we have to be as quiet as we can. Denise, you make sure Yin isn't coming. Melody, you wake up Evan and I'll wake up Tyler. Okay. Evan, wake up. Why are you waking us up this late at night? If you need to talk, we can talk later. I'm tired right now. I'm serious, Evan. Wake up or we'll all die before dawn. What do you mean we'll die before sunrise? Yin is a spirit. Take a look at this. So me and Mel were right about our suspicions. We have to leave now before she comes back. Huh? What was that? Oh no. Looks like she knows what we're trying to do. What happened? Yin knows we're trying to escape! She almost stabbed me! Then we'll have to find a way to sneak past her. We have to get out of here. Now! That's young.
dream? It looks like they're having nightmares. I, I better wake them up. Melody! Melody, wake up! Uh, my head. Huh? Was it a dream? What happened? What? No! Tay, are you okay? What? I thought... Bad dream? It felt so real. Wait, no. It can't be a coincidence that all of us had a nightmare in the same night. Well, I dreamt that Yin was this person trapped in a necklace, and when we found out, her and her sister came to kill us. I had the same dream! Me too. Last thing I remember is Yin Yang jumping at me. Well, all I remember is that I saw Denny disappear, then Yin started walking towards me, and then I don't remember because I think you woke me up. Last thing I remember is Yang jumping at Tyler. If we had the same dream, then... What if it wasn't a dream at all? It wasn't a dream? Tyler! Shh! We don't want one of them to come in here. But- Calm down, Tay. Yin jumped at me too, and I'm fine. I'm sure your brother is fine as well. I hope he is. Let's go get the boys then. Evan? Where's Tyler? She... I couldn't... I'm so sorry. Evan? What do you mean? He's gone. She took him. No! This ca this can't be true! If this is a joke, it's not funny, Evan. I'm sorry. Sorry? Why are you saying sorry? He's still alive! Evan? Say you're joking. Right now. Say you're joking, Evan! Taylor, you have to calm down. No, this is some sick joke! I'm sorry, Tay. He's actually gone. It's... it's gonna be okay, Tay. Where is everyone? Did they leave me or did Yin catch them? T Tyler? Oh, thank God you're okay. And why is Tyler sitting here alone? Tyler? Ah! What happened? Are you okay? I saw Tyler, but his face wasn't normal. What if we're all stuck in a dream? I think I understand what you mean. They're giving us these dreams or controlling them. So for all we know, this could be a dream too. Ow! What was that for? Well, if this was a dream, you would have woken up. So we're all awake. Seems like it. And the only way we're gonna make it out of here is if we stay awake. Evan's right. If we fall asleep, they'll know where we are. Guys, look here! A tunnel! Let's go through there. Maybe it's a way out. Looks like we aren't the only ones that were able to survive for long. I think we'll be safe here for a while. Denny, does it say anything on how to kill them or something? Uh, I, I remember researching about this story a while ago. Let me think. Uh, Taylor, I'm sorry. What for? You know, not saving Tyler. Evan, none of us would have thought this would happen. I know, but if I just grabbed him in time, maybe- Evan, 
It's okay. Everything will be okay. I've calmed down, and now it's your turn. <sighs> I remember now. I think if we destroy one of the necklaces, we'll be able to go home without worry. Wouldn't that just set the souls free? They're trapped in the necklaces, meaning the necklace is what's keeping them alive. If we destroy the necklace, they won't have anything to possess and... They'll die. Exactly. But where are the necklaces? Yin wasn't wearing any accessory around her neck. As far as I know, they can't touch the necklace for some reason, so it has to be somewhere around this house. And we need to figure out where. What if it's in one of the kids' rooms? The ones that had the necklaces? There's a high chance it could be there. But how are we supposed to find one of their rooms? Well, since the boy looked really young, I'm gonna guess his room would be filled with drawings, cars, or action figures. Or something along those lines. Like this room? I'm going to guess the little boy survived longer than everyone else. He must have dug this. He must have been really brave and smart if he did all this. Yeah, poor boy. He must have been really brave to go through all this at such a young age. Look there! It looks like a necklace! This is Yin's necklace. What are we waiting for? Let's destroy it. I feel like this was a bit too easy. If the boy had the necklace right in his hands, then why didn't he destroy it when he could? He was a child. He probably didn't even know what Yin Yang is. I guess so. Don't overthink, Evan. Now, let's kill this monster. Yeah, let's do it. Taylor, would you like to do the honors? Gladly. I think we did it. They're gone. Let's get out of here then. See? Nothing happened. I guess you were right. I kind of miss Tyler. Even though he was an annoying dork, he knew how to cheer us up. Yeah, he always stood up for me when we were younger. He taught me how to be kind and showed me that there was more to life than sadness. He was an amazing brother. He would always be there for me when I needed him. No matter how much we fought, he would always come and hug me after and comfort me. You will truly be missed, Tyler Ice. A loyal and kind soul. Always there for everyone. Even helping strangers fully knowing it might be dangerous. An annoying yet loving person. But how will we get home now? I know. This is the forbidden part of the woods. Dad drew a map for me and Tyler in case we got lost in here and came across an old mansion. I took a picture of it. How does your dad know about this mansion? I think he played some role in this case. And what makes it weirder is that he died exactly three days after he drew us the map. That does seem a bit suspicious. But for now, let's go home. We had enough drama for one day. Yeah, you're right.